Next, we're going to install the video card. So first, we got to take out one of these things right here. It's toolless, so all you got to do is just flip the switch and we're going to take it out like this. Take it out. Now you're going to plug in the video card. Very gently, okay? So Very we'll gently. Close. Just plug it into the PCI Express slot, usually this, this long one right here. Line it up, push it in until it clicks, then bam, good to go. Then push this in. And this should attach itself like that. And your video card's in. Make sure your video card slot is a PCI Express to accommodate the newer video cards. Make sure it's not AGP because that platform is already done. PCI Express, remember, PCI Express. We're going to install the optical drive, so what we had to do first was remove one of these plates. You can put them anywhere, but we chose to put it on the, this slot right here since we got some cable restrictions. That's another thing you might run into with this procedure. This, this drive is an IDE drive, so we're going to have to put it on a lower slot, but if you choose a SATA drive, you can put it anywhere. So we got to put it right here. So just slides in like so. Got to line up the holes with the holes on the case. Right there, right there. So just push it in. Squeeze that tab. In the in, 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 in. It's in. <laughs> I had the extra screws here on this side, the other side, so it'll be balanced so when you, the CD spins, it doesn't go shaky. You know? On that side, we might as well do it on this side. More balance than it is. Okay, so lined up, screw it in, and then that's it. Screwdriver. Install the CD ROM to the motherboard. Take your IDE, plug it into the green socket, the matching green socket right there. Then you take the end and plug it in the IDE drive. Gonna plug in the drive with the corresponding cable. Just plug it in like so. Rolling. We are gonna install these now into the motherboard. They usually go at the bottom, right here, this area. Just match the colors. Usually the colored one, the colored end is the plus, and the white end is the minus. With this one, red is the plus, the black is the minus. So we'll just match them up and plug them in. Plus end is the red, negative is the black, just plug it in right there. Usually on the motherboard there will be a plus and a minus on each pin, so just match it. Another thing is with the, <coughs> the power one, power LED, there's going to be one that's bolded. There's usually three pins. One's going to be isolated by itself, so plug the positive end to that. And it's good to go. Power supply this one comes with, comes with all these cables. They all detach from the PSU itself, so you gotta find which ones you need, then just plug it into the back of it and start plugging in your stuff. So here we go. Plug the main one right here. Usually it's 24 pin, so plug it in like so until it snaps in. Good to go. Now we need to do the 4 pin right here, usually above the CPU. Take this cable. Plug it into the 8 pin. It's usually it's on the top of this power supply. Like so. Then plug it into the motherboard. Good to go. This cable right here is for the hard drive. So we take the 6 pin end, plug it into the SATA connector, which is on the bottom of this power supply right here. Like so. Then Take the SATA end and plug it into your SATA hard drive. This is the PCI Express cord. So this video card requires a six pin right here. Plug it into the back of this video card like so. Where's it at? Like that. Clicks in. Grab the red end and plug it into the this one right there. PCI Express. These are the peripherals installations usually for the USB firewire and the front audio so I'm in to the corresponding pins on the motherboard all right we're gonna plug in all the various fans in the system so gotta take this cord with all the four pin four pin connectors right here plug it into the back of the power supply First, 
we'll take the fan on top right here, this one. So another four pin connected to the female with this one. Then this one right here, connected like so. And I think there's one more. Oh, right here, this one. Wow, there's a lot of fans. Plug it in, and the one in the front. Yeah, this one in the front too. Right, let me just plug that one in. Oh, that's not it. For the front fan, you're gonna get a bunch of cables like this. Plug this one in right into this three prong, three pin area, right above the video card. Then plug this into the four pin. There you go. You're right here, so I already placed it in the bracket provided by Thermal Tape. We're gonna take this and plug it into the USB pins. The top is the f is five pins and four pins. Usually, let's see on this one. The five pins are on the bottom, so make sure the five is on the bottom and just push it in like so. Then you take this. You probably have to take off the ID, the DVD drive, so take that off for now. Then plug it in. And slide it in right under the DVD drive. Like that. There goes. Match up the holes right here. It's these ones right here, these two. So match them up. Get your screwdriver with your screws and plug it in. Both sides, remember, both sides. So it'll be stable. Okay. We're going to put this part in the computer right now, like this. There's a four pin. Plug it into the provided slot. It's on the back side. Like so. And just align the slots. Like so. Now you got a computer. Now we got a computer. But what's a computer without an OS? So we got Windows Vista Home Premium. We're going to install it, then run some benchmark tests. And if you want to find out any more details, go to pcclub.com.